Well, hello there. Today I'm going to show you the start of hopefully a successful project, the Mini DS8000 system that I'm going to try and build. As the name implies, it is a Mini DS8000, Mini IBM DS8000. I am planning to build a clone of a of an IBM DS8000. The way I'm going to do that is using one disk box from a DS8000 and one controller card from the DS8000 and of course all the cabling. Now let's take a look at the, at the disk box. As you can see, it is a 16 disk disk box. My cat just bit me for some reason. Stop biting me, what the heck? What, what? Why are you doing that? Stop it. Stop that. Well, as you can see, it is a 16 disk box. We have one disk installed right now on the first position. And we have two disk controller cards. This is the front, on the back, we've got, I've already adapted this one to work, but we, we would have a mesh, a big mesh, right here, at the back, for cooling, and we have the big uh, mainframe connector, well, backplane connector, that connects it to the mainframe. Um, I have already taken voltages out of it, so I can power it on with a standard ATX power supply. As you can see, 12 volts ground, 5 volt ground, 12 volt ground, 5 volt ground. And these in the center, there is a data connection for diagnostics and all that. Uh, I have put, as you can see, two 120 mil fans in the in the extremes, and we have. Uh, wow, what what's happening to this camera? It's probably the humidity. <laughs> Try and clean the lenses. Um, and two 80 mil fans in there, and then there is this big ass power cord which carry which carries uh, two grounds and five volt and twelve volts. This goes down to a standard ATX power supply. As you can see, 370 watts, and this one provides uh, 30 amps on the five volt rail and 15 amps. On the 12 volt rail which is enough for 16 discs just about enough for 16 discs now let's take a look at one of the discs well the only one that i have right now i will be filling this up with 300 gigabyte discs and i'll put them in raid 5 uh, we have ibm total storage this is a 146 gig disc and well, as you can see, one first of August two thousand six, and we have there the voltage is five volts at one point four amps and twelve volts at point eight amps. So that means I can power this thing with that power supply, even at full current with the drives. It, they can even spin up at the same time. On the back of the drive. We've got an SCA2 connector, or SCA40. Uh, fiber channel. This thing's all fiber channel. Let me put the disc back in. Discs are hot swappable. And we have a power light and an activity light on each, uh, on each disc. Then we have two controller cards. These are redundant. I will be using one of them only, but the enclosure came with both. So we have two disc cards, which create a switched fabric for the discs. So we have uh, four connectors on each for uh, HSSDC, two connectors. As you can see 7 pin HS, HSSDC2 and we have 
to input and to output this, these are fiber channel uh, the purpose of having two inputs and two outputs is uh, these things work in an arbitrated loop topology so we have two inputs from the from one controller card two outputs from one control from this from the same controller card that go back to the same controller card then we have a serial debug connector right there let me take it take them off one of these can fail as I can as I said they are redundant up of up to one of these can fail and the system can still work let's take it out as you can see big heatsink right there you can see some memory a programming connector I'll show you one of these in more detail in a moment and these are some big big ass these are expensive let me tell you these connectors are expensive big ass uh, backplane connectors that connect into well the backplane of the board so these create these controller cards create an arbitrated loop switched fabric topology so you can have access to each of the drives independently uh, whenever you want and I have the other disk well let, let me screw this one in I have the other one taken apart with the cover taken apart Oh, this, there's also uh, ESCON versions of these. These ones are fiber channel, but there's, there's also ESCON uh, versions of these cards, which use uh, MTRJ optical connectors instead of HSSDC2 connectors. Let me take this one out and we have it taken apart. Now I have no clue what every part what any of, of these parts are here we have a big ass uh, I'm guessing this is a switch right here we have some transmitters these are uh, amplifiers line amplifiers for the differential the differential data outputs some amplifiers too on the inputs right here here we have a voltage regulator, it is a Texas Instruments uh, 75501, no clue. Capacitors, an inductor, here we have same arrangement. Uh, this is probably a switching controller, big ass inductor. Capacitors, this probably generates 3.3 uh, volts for all the logic. Here we have these chips, I have no clue what they are. Google them, whatever. Um, we have a Vitesse, which are usually Vitesse chip, which are usually found in hard drives. We have a 40 megahertz oscillator right there, and some chips right there, the LEDs, and that's about it. And the programming connector right here, this is probably JTAG. So that's the disk controller card. The backplane. Backplane has, of course, 16 SCA2 connectors for 16 hard drives and it has uh, LEDs right there as you can see those white things LEDs for indicating the status of the hard drives and the backplane is really really thick it is a really thick uh, board as you can see right there this is the backplane it is a really really thick board it, this thing's probably like um, probably 16 or 20 layers so that's one expensive board 
right there. I got this this thing for ten bucks. The whole uh, cage, the whole uh, yeah, the whole cage with the controllers and everything. Pretty much because it is useless. It is considered useless without uh, the backplane, the main backplane, which disconnects too. But as you can see, I have just connected it to an ATX power supply, and it does work. It does work. So let me turn it on. So you can see um, what it looks like turned on, although there's not much to see. Let me bring the power supply up here so you can see how it turns on. As you can see the hard drive is spinning up. There it goes. Hard drive is spun up. And well, as you can see, it did a seek of all of the drives. I think this thing cascades the startup of the drives like that in this order. I think so because if I remove this drive and put it in another position, I'm not gonna do that because I'm, I don't wanna waste cycles on this drive. Um, if I put it in another, in another position, it doesn't start up. It just, this LED just keeps blinking. So we have, as you can see, an FRU ID, LED, a power LED, and an enclosure FRU ID. Right there, we have activity LEDs for both the outputs and the inputs. And yeah, that's about it. The thing works off of 12 volt and 5 volt, which is pretty cool. Um, so I've already said like 20 times. Uh, it weighs a ton. This thing weighs a ton, even without hard drives, as you can see. Upwards of 18 kilo. 40 pounds for you yanks. And well, yeah, the thing is pretty quiet with these fans that I put back in here it doesn't make that much noise I, ha I will have to sleep with this thing turned on so yeah whoopsie I almost tripped there so yeah that's about it as you can see it doesn't it doesn't need any data from the data connector to turn on actually which I was pretty surprised about so now what I have, I am waiting, what I have to do is uh, buy the, buy four, buy four um, data cables to connect one of these controller cards to the, I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't uh, have turned it on without the cover because the airflow isn't probably going where it should. So let me turn this thing off. Um, I have to buy four uh, HSSDC2 to HSSDC2 uh, cables to connect it to the controller card. I have bought the controller card. I'm waiting for it to arrive. The controller card was 12 bucks plus 14 shipping, which is a shame, really. But uh, yeah, um, I'm waiting on the controller card. And I just need the cables, which seems to be like it will be the most expensive things to buy because the the hard drives themselves are five bucks for a 300 gig hard drive. So <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, I will buy, as I said, 16 300 gig drives and I will put them in RAID 5. Hopefully the, well, I have, I have a uh, red the red book on the DA 8000 and it seems like the card the controller card itself handles the rate capabilities and it has a, its own power pc processor so no problem right there i will be using a sim a really simple uh e, e server x series uh server from ibm with a uh, Pentium 4 651 
and uh, two gigabytes of RAM to do all that, be mainly because it's the only server that I have that has PCIX. So yeah, I hope I can I can make this work. So that was the tour of the of the disk box. And thank you for watching and you know, comment, subscribe, like, whatever. Bye.